Hello! Welcome to a brand new art video. Today we're going to be taking a tour of my most recently completed sketchbook. Now this guy is Moleskin. Uh, this is one of my favorites right now. Uh, I think this is like my fifth or sixth one of these in particular that I've already filled. I think it's about 50 pages, but it's great because the ink does not bleed through this at all. Uh, and this is just like a standard... Um, just the standard ink I got, and you know, you put it in a brush pen, doesn't bleed at all, which is great. Markers will bleed through this paper, unfortunately, so it's still great if you just want to use one side, but not great paper for markers if you want to use both sides. Unless you want to, something kind of fun can happen with marker where uh, an image will bleed through on the other side, and maybe you can draw on that, and like that, that can be fun to kind of have a second pass at a drawing you may like. But definitely keep a divider because it will bleed through. Now most of the sketches in this are actually going to be mermaids. Uh, these were a lot of my ideas for my daily mermaid blog. And so uh, just some fun little ideas trying out like how uh, they'll, they'll cook dinner sometimes. Like maybe these are um, underwater volcanoes. Like there's a whole field of them. That's a cute idea. And these are some, uh, I recently did a, a piece with the swimming pigs, and these are some of like, the first little sketches I was trying for different poses. And I think later in the sketchbook you'll see the, the sketch I did that turned into the illustration. And you'll see a lot of stuff in Oh, here it is, actually. And there, there's quite a few sketches in here that didn't make it onto the blog, or they haven't made it on there yet. I carry this thing with me everywhere, and I've had this sketchbook for maybe just over two months. I think it's about how long it took me to fill. Uh, and you'll see, like, there's hardly any wear on it. Uh, despite being paper, it's actually a really resilient little sketchbook. This is going to be a fun idea for our Little Witch Academy. I, uh, I had an idea for the Mermaid blog for, um, I can never remember their names. I think I think the one, the main one's Mako. No, that's, that's Legend of Korra. I'm horrible at remembering these names. Anyways, the, the one that likes potions and stuff like that was going to make one that turned the, the main girl into a mermaid. Um, I still want to do something with it. I thought it was a cute idea. It's a Day of the Dead Mermaids. Oh, and here's some little otter sketches. Uh, I haven't done a lot of river mermaids, so here's a few ideas for one. And this one I ended up turning into an illustration. Uh, it took a few attempts to kind of get an otter I liked. But I might do something with this later. I like the little otter family in the background. I thought that was cute. And their little hands reaching out. Oh, and they got their little special rock. That's what that little smudge is supposed to be. Or, will you know, when, when it's paint, you'll it'll show up better. And something I, I like to try and do with my sketchbooks is I try to get usable drawings out of this. So I kind of have everything, uh, they're a little more easily separated. So if I end up making a sketch that I, I like and I want to take further, I'm making it the easiest as possible for me once I bring this into the computer. Oh, there's a funny idea. I, might, I still might do something with this later. I figured uh, Aquaman would probably be a pain in the ass for the mermaids. <laughs> I know he'd be a hat tipper. And you'll see I have, uh, have these sticky notes going throughout the sketchbook. They pop up quite a bit. What that is, I'll show you in the next one. When uh, I liked how this one came out. This one is really fun to do. Uh, the sticky notes, and sorry, uh, those are for when um, I've drawn something that I liked most. Like this one, for instance, I liked a lot of this drawing, but... The face was a little bit broken, like this right here didn't make a lot of sense, but I liked so much of this drawing that I wanted to save it, so you just plop a sticky note on it. These are awesome because, I mean, you can't tell now because of the sketch, but maybe a little bit on this one, but you can actually see the under the underdrawing. 
and that makes it very easy for you to correct your mistakes like this one like his head you can kind of see a little bit his head was way too big but I liked the rest of it so I got it I managed to salvage a drawing with it so highly recommend getting some sticky notes and keeping them with you uh, the other awesome thing about this sketchbook is the because it's saddle stitched it uh it doesn't or this isn't sorry this isn't saddle stitch this is I don't remember all my bindings um because saddle stitch I think is just staples but this is just a stitched binding but uh the pages don't shuffle and so these don't get blurry or smudgy at all so I mean you know, even looking at like some of these the drawings that were have been in here longer there's like no smudges on them at all it's partially because of the paper being bound and not spiral and then also the pencil I use is a Prismacolor Coal Erase. Love those pencils. Uh, it's just kind of fun to draw with a little bit of color. Just a little bit of warmth. Uh, and they also don't smudge like, here I'm trying to, I can't even, I can't even make the smudge at all. There's a little bit on my, my finger, but that's about it. And here we're going to start getting to some of the Inktober stuff. So these sketches are you know, I guess right at a month old now. It's a fun idea for Bride of Frankenstein. And again, you'll see the, the ink from the brush pen. I think this is just like the Pentel uh, brush pen with like the changeable cartridge on the back. Doesn't bleed through at all. It's great. And then I think the, this was done with the Pilot High Tech C. And it'll smudge a little bit when it's still wet, but it doesn't bleed through at all, which is nice. I still might do something with this idea. Uh, I want to do like a little fairy hiding in, hiding in a plant. Thought it would have been cute. Um, this was just an alternate idea. I still liked how this one came out, but I wanted to have an option where she was holding it behind her back. So that's what we got here but I wanted to save that for when I scan it then in Photoshop I can just impose this over her and see if I like that better for if I decide to paint this so a rough idea for a little little story I thought it'd be funny if um, this mermaid and this uh, like human live together and they just don't quite know each other's customs yet and she didn't know that uh, maybe a lot uh, in this case lobsters are kind of like a pet for them and that's what this rough little squiggle is supposed to be is a lobster so something wrong you haven't touched your dinner and i just have her crying about oh it reminds me of gregory and i hope that implies that that's what's going on This is just India ink that was used for this. Uh, I don't remember the brand. Of, I think it's Windsor Newton, but it has a spider on it. Uh, that's the ink I used for this, and it's a great ink. Like it's really rich when you have it without when you don't water it down. I thought this would be a cool idea for. Uh, maybe mermaids use octopuses or octopi whatever the plural is maybe they use them like a purse and so you can only carry like six things with you or and i mean maybe they can hold on with one tentacle but i thought they'd hang on to you with a couple and then they'd use their other ones to hold on to stuff for you so it'd be a an octopurse i'm sorry This is really a bummer. Like, I've noticed this on a couple of these where it kind of bled afterwards. And what happened, I was using a ballpoint pen. I really love this pen because, like, I did the pen sketch and then I added the ink wash afterwards. And it wasn't the, like, the water didn't pick it up at all. And it, so I guess it was a non water soluble ink. But I think I must have been impatient when I put this white pen that I have over it. Uh, and that's why it's getting this weird kind of bleedy stuff when i first did it like it was really nice and white and crisp i think you can see in the eyes like that used to be white 
But uh, I just didn't wait long enough for it to dry. At least I think that's what's going on. Oh, these are a couple last minute ideas. But, um, but anywho, so here's the sketchbook. I started this uh, at the very beginning of fall, very end of summer. And uh, I'm gonna have this available for download on Gumroad. There'll be a link in the description. Uh, it's gonna be a free download. So please check that out. And uh, I'll have another one of these videos uh, probably in a couple months. Or, uh, I mean, maybe I'll do an old one too. I have a ton of sketchbooks that I've already filled. So thank you so much for joining me today. Bye-bye.